Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency, balance out psychologically and emotionally, and further strengthen your brain and your heart coherence as well get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life we are literally herbivores in nature further balance out your physical body's ph level and get with alkalinity then you can generate some static electricity send me some love telepathically set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate that is all there is to telepathy you are now tuning in to great day Now today I'm going to make a um, a how-to video, somewhat of a how-to video, but more of a um, a very very simple method or way to actually boosting your brain's function or even your intelligence. Okay, and it's gonna be very 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 enjoyable. It's gonna be very insightful as well as um, it's going to bring in immense change to you simply just by doing this one thing so today's video is boosting brain function now let's get right into it right so I have basically been doing this one thing for at least a year now and um, it has definitely allowed me to boost my creativity it has allowed me to balance out my two hemispheres of the brain obviously the left and the right the feminine and the masculine or the masculine and feminine and it has actually brought in a um, stronger usage to the corpus callosum which is actually the bridge between the two hemispheres of the brain and this has further allowed me to boost my intelligence or even come to boost and shift in brain function to a higher state of functionality so um yeah the method in doing this is pretty much just taking my non-dominant hand and eating with my non-dominant hand and that's literally what um, you can do for yourself in order to boost your brain function and that's that's literally it it's so simple um, so if you're a right hander you can basically start using your left hand to eat your food with get your spoon or your fork or your chopsticks or whatever you're using and start only using your non-dominant hand to eat your food and eventually you'll see after about like a week of doing this you already start seeing the benefits you'll start um, basically using the the corresponding brain hemisphere more often and it literally shifts your entire experience of life because it's just like one of those little um, domino effects you know it's basically breaking the routine mundane um repetitive repetitive action that you have been within and that further makes way for the domino effect to take place and this further allows you to basically shift or boost your brain function okay so the left hand actually corresponds to the right brain hemisphere and the right hand actually corresponds to the left brain hemisphere it's switched in nature it's mirrored okay so if you are starting to eat with your left hand more often your right brain hemisphere is going to become more active and it's going to 
shift or it's going to boost in its um, function and the right brain hemisphere is literally the feminine brain uh, hemisphere or it is the feminine um, brain it is all about subjectivity it is all about unification it is all about um, music it is all about creativity it is all about color it is all about love and it is all about compassion it is all about passivity it is all about restfulness it is all about um, doing nothing you know about the situation being instead of doing okay now the left brain hemisphere is all about the masculine it is all about um, objectivity it is all about exteriorization it is all about that egotistical experience or that individual experience or that experience of individuality it is all about um, math it is purely mathematical it is linear point a to point b and it is um, very logical it is our lot it is the logical side of our brain it is the side that provides reason to everything there's a reason for this there's a reason for that there's a reason for this and then you further break it down in a logical way that is all left brainedness that is all masculinity and then um, that corresponds to the right hand so if you are a left hander you are naturally probably already um using the right brain hemisphere more often and if you are a right hander then you are probably using the left brain hemisphere more often and um not much people actually know how to balance them out and and use the corpus callosum which is the bridge in between the two because they made it so that we are imbalanced nowadays and people only really use one hemisphere they're either purely in the left brain hemisphere or they're purely in the right brain hemisphere and nowadays with the um, the heightened masculinity collectively most people are just literally in the left brain hemisphere and this is why everybody is so quick to want to um, be given a scientific logical and reasonable explanation for everything in the way that um, let's say there's something that seems completely illogical and irrational when you first uh, hear about it your first um, your first response usually is okay well can you explain this can you give me some logic behind this can you scientifically explain it to back it up further that is all masculinity and that is all left brainedness the right brain the right brain is all about the intuition it's all about that uh, sense of faith you know have faith in the higher being in God is what they say uh, let go a little bit be passive you know ma femininity be passive let go a little bit rest up have faith that everything will work out let it go you know um, trust your intuition you know it innately and you don't even know how you know it you know that is what the right brain hemisphere is all about and it's all that's also femininity masculinity needs reason it needs logic and it needs everything very very sharply explained you know usually in scientific um, methods or terms so that is a little bit between the difference on the left and right hemisphere of the brain now how to boost the um, the function of your brain once again all you do is take your non-dominant hand and you start eating your food with it so if you're a right hander take your left hand and eat your food with it for as long as uh, you feel comfortable and then if you are a left hander take your right hand and then start eating your food with it and do that for as long as you're comfortable and eventually you'll start to use the opposite uh, brain more often and you'll eventually start balancing the two out you'll be able to use the corpus callosum more often and this opens up immense intelligence it opens up immense knowledge as well and it actually completely and simplistically boosts your brain's function okay now if you really want to um, go the full way start only using your your non-dominant hand to eat literally just 
just don't use your other hand anymore because you have literally like however old you are and however long you've been using your main hand to do things you gotta you gotta basically catch up because we're supposed to be able to use both hands very very fluently we're not supposed to just be using one hand artistically because we're supposed to be able to use both brain hemispheres we're supposed to balance them out and use them both but what they have done to us in society or in civilization the government has tricked us they have programmed us and they have conditioned us to believe that we are only purely um, dominant in one hand but the truth of it is is that they want to only turn on one of your brain hemispheres so that you'll be literally imbalanced and falling to one side in life you know and this is why there's so much disease this is why there's so much imbalance collectively because they do stuff like that so what you need to do is balance your brain hemispheres out and you can literally do this with a simple method and that method is literally eating your food with your non-dominant hand for now on and just watch how it changes your perception of life and what will happen to you in life and even just your general moods and attitudes for life and so much more okay it goes so much deeper but yeah that's gonna be the video today i hope you guys enjoyed on um boosting brain functionality and the very simple method to boost brain functionality so subscribe over here to the left of me and help me reach 100 subscribers drop a like on the video to the right of me and support the channel once again <laughs> generate some static electricity from the ethereal body or the spatial body or even the first layer the aura in boosting your brain's function you will actually be able to start seeing the aura more often it's more of a right brain hemisphere action okay so i do thank you guys for watching once again peace out enjoy your afternoon and one love